So I'm going to read you a small piece of the third book in that um, series. And I'm planning for August for this book. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> no. The cold was a constant companion. No matter what Courtney did, she couldn't seem to escape the sensation. She pulled a sweater she wore tighter to her body, hugging herself tight to try and penetrate the chill that seemed to seep into her bones. She decided exercise might help. But she hesitated with her hand over the doorknob. Would it really open? Miss Wilson told her the door would be open during the day, but she, could she trust it? It also told her the job she'd done for them would be safe, but Courtney never let herself forget that that woman worked for them, not her. She grasped the handle and turned it, relief filling her when, she, when the door opened as promised. She didn't know why she cared about wandering the grounds. She certainly didn't care to speak to anyone. But she had to admit restlessness was setting in. There was only so much time a person could spend in one room before they went crazy. Or in her case, crazier. She shook her head, dismissed the thought, and stepped into the hallway. Courtney only got a few steps from her room when a voice stopped her. Hi again. She turned, coming face to face with the strange guy from the day before. Before you ask again, I'm not lost. I know exactly where I am and what I'm doing. He held up his hands in surrender. Message received. Actually, I just wanted to say hi. Courtney looked him up and down, an eyebrow raised. She still couldn't remember ever seeing the guy before, although she supposed she wouldn't be the best one to decide who was new around there or not. I don't know. I don't know why. Don't you know who I am? He shook his head. Not really. I haven't been coming here long, maybe a week or two. If you're smart, you'll go back where you came from and never look back. With that, she turned and resumed her walk down the hallway. Hey, wait. What exactly does that mean? Courtney stopped, her back still toward him. It means that you should just take my advice and go while you can. Trust me on that. Courtney's voice caught on the last part, and she had to compose herself. A hand barely grazed her shoulder, making her jump. She whirled around and slapped him. Don't touch me. He gaped at her. I, I'm sorry. You just looked upset, and I was just going to ask if you were okay. Then just ask, she retorted before running down the hall. That's just brilliant slash stupid, insane moment. Uh, a friend of ours had finished doing 